I'm going to convert this fluorescent fixture into an LED one, which will give me more efficient bulbs and uh, won't have the ballast anymore. You can do this same process. It's the same whether you're doing two, four, six, eight bulb fixture, uh, whether it has one ballast or two, whether it's a four foot long or eight foot long bulb. Basically, you start out by getting access to the ballast. I took out the reflector there. And uh, this can do with the fixture being mounted to the, the ceiling or on the ground. You just want to disconnect power if you do. So I've just taken out the one ballast. I'm stretching out and untangling the wires a little bit. And then I'm cutting the power cord because I don't want to use a, a plug-in power cord. I want to hardwire it in. And I want it to go into the center of my light instead of the end. So pulling out that cord. And then stretch out, untangle those wires a little bit. So now all the wires from that one end are going to the ballast. I'm going to cut those in the center so I have plenty of length and so they'll reach the center of the fixture where my source power will come in. And then I'll tuck those out of the way, help clean things up a little bit. And then I'll do the same thing on the other side. Stretch out that ballast and cut the ballast wire, the wires off to the ballast on that end. And then I'm drilling a hole for where my source power will come through. And then I'll uh, stretch the wires back out. And then I'm going to cut them to length and then strip them. And then I'm going to connect all those wires together. Um, not with a wire nut, you can use that, uh, but I use these Wago nuts here and they're really clean and do the same thing as a wire nut without the hassle and uh, feels a little bit more secure to me. So there's five wires on the one end to put those all into a Wago connector with one hole remaining, four wires on the other, and with two holes remaining. It's just how it worked out on this light with a six hole Wago connector. And then I'm extending my ground wire from the end where it was before with the original pigtail cord and uh, make it so it goes all the way to the center of the light where my source power will go in. Turn off the power, mount my lights, and then I'm going to take all the wires from one end and plug it into one of my source power wires and the other ones I'm going to go to the neutral wire and then the ground to the ground. It doesn't matter which wire goes to which wires just you got to have the wires on one end going to either the black or white and the wires on the other end going to the, the opposite one. And then uh, pulling out the new bulbs here these are dual end LED bulbs uh, for this style of wiring of your conversion you got to have um, a dual end LED um, bulb is what it's called so that the power isn't just on one side of the fixture the power and ground aren't on the same side they're on both ends and then you turn the power back on check it out and works great I'm really happy with how it turned out and uh, hope you can enjoy making some use out of some old fixtures yourself appreciate you watching hope you like and subscribe